Hi everybody, John with you. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, I have not done a haul video on candles in quite a while because I haven't really bought any significant number of them. Just a few, you know, here and there at Ross and whatnot. But um, <clears throat> actually Bath and Body Works, uh, and there hasn't been anything that exciting at Bath and Body Works as far as like new scents for me. Nothing really that interesting that I just felt, you know, compelled to go out and buy. But they did, uh, a few days ago, have a, one of their half-off, or whatever they are, sales, where the regular candles, instead of twenty-four fifty are 12 and change. And they also had a uh, email coupon I had received that was, uh, what was it, 25% off your entire purchase? Something like that. It was a good one. They haven't done a good one like that in a long time. For me, it was like 25% off of your total purchase. So I thought, okay... Candles are half off and 25, you know, percent off on top of that. So this is the time to go and get a few things. So I did haul some candles. I got six and uh, I'll show you what they are. And they came out to, totally to uh, 971 a piece. So that's pretty good uh, because my mark is kind of, I don't want to pay more than like 12 dollars for any candle. I don't care what brand it is, what kind it is. I just don't want to pay more than that. So well, we could get it down below 10 for something like Bath and Body Works. That's about as good as it's going to get. And I'm going to take them up on that. So let me show you what I got. Uh, if you've seen my past videos, recent videos, you know, we've had uh, everywhere, of course, has had very strange weather the past couple of months. Uh, Hawaii is no exception for us. We've had tons and tons of rain and cloudiness that we just don't get that amount of. And what's happened is a lot of uh, waters come down from the mountains and there's a lot of mosquito activity that we don't normally have. So I was burning last month some candles to that uh, repel mosquitoes, a sense that they do not like the scent of. And I went through them and I just thought while they're having this sale, I'm going to get a few more of those to have on hand uh, if the situation happens again. And in fact, this coming week, it's supposed to be raining the entire week, which is just very strange for us. So I may use them again or just keep them, you know, on hand again. So what I got was a, a new one of eucalyptus mint. This is kind of a classic scent for me. I've burnt several of these and uh, thought I will get another one uh, because mosquitoes don't like eucalyptus and they don't like mint. Uh, this is nice packaging they have this time around. Uh, it just says fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, lemon peel, and clary sage. And that's basically it. But it's, it's just a sweet mint eucalyptus scent. I've burnt this several times. I love this candle. It always has performed very well for me. So love, love this one. Uh, then I got, in this very boring white barn presentation, it's okay as a presentation, it's just boring, uh, lemon mint leaf. Again, I, this is not like a new scent. I don't know if I've had this before, but this scent has been around. Sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, verbena springs. Nice, very minty, very lemony, very fresh. Uh, the mosquitoes will hate it because they don't like mint also. So, yeah. And then finally, I did get one more in the uh, mosquito repellent scent, which is that they also don't like lavender. Who knew? Uh, and there are a couple of lavender scents out there now, but the one I picked up, decided to get, is one I haven't had before. Uh, French lavender. In the uh, it's kind of pretty uh, presentation there. This one just says South of France lavender. I guess the lavender in the South of France is different from the lavender in the rest of France. I don't know. Uh, vanilla, soft jasmine with essential oils. Nice scent. An herbaceous lavender, not a sweet lavender. This is just much more grassy, herbally lavender. So, you know, it smells good. We'll see. So then I picked up three other ones that I just, uh, you know, wanted to have in the collection. Um, one was, uh, I have seen this candle several times lately, and I had not picked it up because there weren't any good sales. There wasn't anything else I was that interested in, so I just never got it. So when this sale came up, I'm like, okay, this one I want to get. And that is from the White Barn Collection Woodland. 
I do like wood scents, wooden, earthy, grassy scents. Uh, this is Woodland Bark Water Mint Verbena Springs with Essential Oils. I don't really know what verbena smells like, so I'm not sure what that scent is. But I'm definitely getting a... Um, it is a, a foresty foresty scent, but a, on a light, not light throw, but on the, on the light scent wise, like not really spicy, not really earthy or deep, but like a light, a light leafy scent with a little bit of perhaps mint. There might be a little mint in this actually. I got all kinds of mint this time, let me tell you. I like this one. It's also uh, reminiscent, I don't know, maybe it reminds me of uh, when I was a little kid and my grandparents lived in Pennsylvania and uh, I kind of, I don't know, it has a bit of that scent of the woods around there or something. I don't know, but I like it. And now I have it. Uh, and then the other two I just got. Uh, they, because they had this, I don't recall that I have ever burnt this before. Magic in the air. I don't think I've had it, and I know it's one that you know people liked and talk about when it came out. It's got this pearly lid on it, glittery, pearly, three-dimensional lid. Um, this one just reads, Almond Flower White Iris Whipped Vanilla Bourbon. I may have had it. If I don't, I don't remember. But it's just a nice sort of, to me, kind of a generic just sweet, somewhat sweet scent. Not overpowering. It's probably going to be kind of light. It doesn't smell really strong, but pleasant. Maybe a nice mixer. It might, you know, mix nicely with something else. Then the last one I got, I don't know, I had to get something else, and I vacillated between a couple of different ones, and I kept coming back to this one over and over and over again and going, yeah, no, yeah, but anyway, I ended up getting it, which is pistachio ice cream. Uh, very pretty spring-like wrap there. Um, this reads, P roasted pistachio, frozen almond cream, lush vanilla bean with essential oils. Everything was like has essential oils now. Is there such a thing as an unessential oil? Um, Non-essential, right? <laughs> Yeah, this one is, it's, I don't know, I mean, ice cream, I don't know that I would say it smells like ice cream, but definitely the pistachio nuts and definitely a, like an almond creamy nougat, maybe kind of a smell like creamy almond candy bar filling. It's nice, pleasant, um, smells fairly strong, so we'll see. So I don't know, I just got it. I had to get something, whatever. So those are the six candles I got from Bath & Body Works. With the normally would be twenty four fifty a piece, but with the uh, sale and the coupon on top of it comes out to nine seventy one. So my total was uh, total was sixty one oh two for six candles. That's pretty good because that's under my uh, you know my ten mark ten dollar under ten dollars is good. I know everybody's raving about those candles. What are they now? Slackkin, right? Because he was with. Bath & Body Works originally, and everybody's loving those candles, and ordering them, and ooing and aahing over how wonderful they are. Um, I would say I'm jealous, but not really, because um, I just, like, I'm a cheap ass, and they're expensive, and plus they're shipping on top of them. I don't do mail order anyway for candles. I buy what is physically present where I am, and uh, so I just don't do the mail order thing, even on the major brands, and... Uh, they're expensive, and I'm sure they are great. I mean, I'm sure they are, but uh, this boy here, just I'm not, mm -mm, I'm not paying that. So anyway, these were all below ten dollars, so I'm happy. <laughs> if you haven't had any of these candles, let me know what you think of them, and uh, or what you've been hauling. I always enjoy watching people's uh, hauls and empties and what they've been burning and yada yada yada. Okay, have a good week. We will talk to you later.